All right, y'all, welcome to the Cooking General. Today, we're gonna be doing a new recipe. I know y'all say y'all wanna see some more cooking, so we finna do it. Today, we're gonna do sea pigs. Sea pigs. You like sea pigs? No, C. S E A pigs. Okay, then we're gonna show you how we're gonna do it. First, we're gonna take jalapeno peppers. We got our cream cheese here. We got our pan sausage right here. And we got our shrimp right there. And then we're gonna put these sea pigs together. So first you wanna take your pepper, you wanna cut around that little part there, like that, and get that bastard off of there. Get off of there. There you go. Then you wanna split down one side of the pepper, like that, not all the way through. Open it up, and you wanna peel the seeds and stuff out. You don't need that. Okay, now that we got our peppers de-seeded, now you want to take some cream cheese. You can use a fork, knife, whatever you want to put your cream cheese in, but me being more watching, I use my hands. Yeah, do I wash them? Nope. Do I kill? Nope. Stuff that cream cheese off in that pepper like that. See? Then you take you some shrimp. That's why they call sea pigs. And you stuff your shrimp off in there. You close that pepper up like that. You take your few more shrimps. There you go. See? Put it on your pan sausage. Just like that. Take your pepper face down. And then you take your pan sausage and you go over your shrimps. Like this. Pick it up. And get them in there. Let them work. Like that. Don't mind getting your hands dirty. Just go ahead and get them in there. Let it work. It's called a sea pig. You got your shrimps, you got your pan sausage, you got your cream cheese, and you got your pepper. And work them in now, just like that. So you can't see the pepper or the shrimp anymore. Just work it in there. If you gotta take a little more pan sausage to put on there, go ahead and do it. Okay, now, your sea pig is almost finished. That's completely, completely surrounded. Now, you want you to take your strip of bacon. That's why it's called a sea pig. You put that bacon right around your sea pig. Like that. Now, you want to take your sea pig, which I already made a few, put it in the pan. You see how big they are. And you want to set your oven for 350. And your sea pig is done when your bacon get brown. So let's put it in the oven, and we'll come back and check them later. That's how we cooking old dub. You better ask somebody. So there you go. That's your sea pig. As you can see here, you got your pan sauce, your shrimp, your cream cheese, and your pepper. And you can see your bacon is real crisp around there. And these are things that are pretty big. I took them and fill you up. It's a whole meal. So there's your sea pig. Produced by Optimus One. Thanks for watching.